It's being considered one of the biggest governor races of 2023. You have Democrat Andy Bashir. He is hoping to hold off Trump-backed Attorney General Daniel Cameron. But new polls show that Cameron is closing the gap within four percentage points in what could be the litmus test for the 2024 presidential election. And he joins us now. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank Good you for morning. having me. Well, thanks for coming on. You're the first Republican yeah. to hold your seat in about 75 years. So it's um, unbelievable. And you're doing well in this poll. This 500 registered voters were asked, who are you planning to support? And the incumbent, Bashir, got 49 percent. You got 45 percent and then 5 percent undecided. Why do you think you're cutting into his lead? Well, Ainsley, I think I'm cutting into his lead because people are learning more and more about Andy Bashir's record. I often tell people uh, I am the law and order candidate. Andy Bashir is the catch and release candidate. He let out roughly 2,000 prisoners in 2020, and a third of those recommitted offenses contributing to the violent crime increase that we've seen here in Kentucky. Folks here in the Commonwealth want law and order. They want a world-class education system, and they want their values to be represented in the governor's office. That is what I'm bringing to the table, and that is why we are essentially in a dead heat right now, uh, and it's not even August and September yet. I know you've addressed the drug epidemic. You've supported law enforcement. You support uh, the unborn. You wanted churches open during the pandemic. Tell us more about your platform. Well, right now we are focused uh, primarily on making sure that Kentucky's values are represented in the governor's office. Look, Andy Bashir, rather than stand with our men and women and children in our 120 counties, would stand with the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence and Joe Biden. That is not consistent with the values of Kentucky. Here is a governor that decided to shut down our churches when we needed them the most in 2020. Uh, he has told that biological males, it's okay for them to play in women's sports, even though we've spent decades trying to protect women's sports. And he's also been supportive of gender transition surgeries for minors, which we know in some European countries, they're even dialing that back. Again, Andy Bashir is inconsistent with the values of Kentuckians. That's why he's on the ropes, and that is why we're going to beat him in November. Daniel, for the voter that doesn't know much about you, tell them why they should vote for you, a little bit about your background and who you are as a person. Well, look, you can find out a lot about us at CameronForKentucky.com. I've been serving as the attorney general over these last three and a half years, standing up for Kentucky values, our constitutional rights, fighting against Joe Biden, and we'd be honored to have your help and support. Go to CameronForKentucky.com. Thank you. Okay, Daniel, thank you for coming on. We wish you all the best.